Welcome to the Activity Time Podcast, hosted by the SLE Marketing Team. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Activity Time. I'm your host, Emilio. And I'm Macy. And we're the SLE Marketing Team. So last week, we brought on some family friends of mine, Otto and Eddie, who are fitness trainers slash motivation, excuse me, motivational coaches, um, where they gave us some motivation to start this year. And we touched on some very important points like nutrition, um, physical fitness, and mental wellness. Um, And here we are now. Macy, you want to talk about what we're going to be doing today? Yes. So today, we kind of wanted to do something a bit different. Um, We kind of wanted to share our resources with you all. So Emilio and I, I'm a senior, Emilio's a junior. Um, We've kind of encountered a couple tips and tricks, student discounts along the way. And we just thought it was time to share this with you all so you all can take advantage of it. Um, Some of these have helped me when it comes to my work classes. Um, So I'm really excited to be sharing this with you all. Mm -hmm. Um, And this is going to be part of a new series that we called Things That They Just Don't Tell You. So yeah, this is episode one of Things They Just Don't Tell You. Alrighty. So before we get started, though, I kind of touched on a little bit about myself, what I've been up to. Macy, do you want to share like what you're up to this last semester of your senior year? What's life's been like for you over the past break? Um, You know, I'm sure our listeners would love to hear what our hosts have been doing. Yeah, so I'm actually um, in San Francisco right now trying to finish this lease up before I graduate. Um, But for winter break, I was back home in Houston. My boyfriend and I went over there um, for the whole winter break and just decided to spend it with family. I really enjoyed it. Um, I was with my sister the majority of the time, so that was really nice getting to bond with her Um, and just seeing her grow because I left her when she was like, I want to say like 11, 12, and now she's 15. So it's really nice seeing her, you know, grow. And it's kind of sad at the same time. Like, dang, she's so big already. (laughs) Love that. Also, I didn't know the Simpsons moved to San Francisco. I know, right? (laughs) (laughs) My background. It's a cool virtual background. Um, Well, then, thanks for catching us up on that, Macy, and what you're doing. Very exciting, especially down to these last few months here. Um, So... I guess we'll jump right into it. I'm gonna share my screen. Give me one second. Okay, so first off though, this video is not sponsored. Oh, little preview, not there yet. Um, Where was I? I was saying this video is not sponsored. These are just some resources slash tools that Macy and I found very, um, not just applicable, but also accessible. They're free um, and just ways to get you around the whole college experience. I mean, take advantage of, of what you can right now before we graduate. So um, I'm specifically talking to USF students here, but if you are not a USF student and you're a college student, it's definitely important to look at your library and see what they have to offer because you know every semester or quarter when you start, um, you're required different textbooks or novels or whatever, really. Um, and with specifically the Gleason Library, they have a USF Student Services page where you could scroll down. And we'll make sure to put the links in our videos and in our posts and captions as well so that you all have access to these. Um, but as you could see here, I have the URL. Um, so like, for example, there's options where you could talk with someone, which is specifically a librarian. Um, we have an internet archive. Uh, Fusion and the USF library catalogs. So it definitely is more um, less of a time um, conf- or what would I say time constraint or whatever, um, where you know it's faster basically to look at a book up online versus actually going into a library right now. So and it's safer. <laughs> so um, like for example, like two of my classes require a textbook that I would have to purchase, but I believe I actually found them. Um, well, not believe, I did find them through the libraries. So um, here's just a little bit of a guide here. I don't wanna bore you all to tears, but basically these are just all the tips here um, on how you could create your account, make sure you use your student email for everything. Um, And yeah, that's pretty much it. The first source I wanted to share with you all. Um, Now the second one, I have a lot of fun and a lot of experience using. If you haven't heard of it, it is called Uni Days. 
it is a great app slash website that college students can use to get student discounts, whether it be for fashion, which is one of the main reasons why I like to use it, but it's also applicable for places for entertainment, uh, food and beverages, as you can see, health and fitness, um, and lifestyle, and even tech and gaming as well. So they have something for everyone. And I've been using it since my freshman year. I'm a junior now. And even <laughs> being at home and online shopping, I always check to see like whatever site I'm on, like, oh, can I apply a uni days discount? So um, as you can see, I think I'm on the homepage already. Um, I think the first one I'm going to go with, I love Adidas. So I believe they're on here. And they even have a search bar too. So you could see like what options come up. So, um, and they'll even direct you to their website. Like for example, if you can't get a student discount, but like there's other student benefits, they'll still post that on uni days as well, if that makes sense. So as you could see, they offer a 15% off student discount with Adidas. So I'm just gonna kind of guide this through you. And again, make sure you apply using your student email because that's how you get approved. If you use your personal, any outside um, address, um, you will not be approved. So as you can see here, here's the code. I'm just gonna copy it real quickly. And then I kind of was prepared before we shared this. So I found a pair of sneakers, just random. And as you can see, as in your cart, there's an option where it'll say, enter your promo code. And that's usually for whatever online source you plan to make a purchase or slash transaction. So I'm just gonna paste it in here. And voila, the 15 student 15% 15 off student discount um, was applied. So again, I'm gonna take you back to it. So, oh, I've totally forgot too that they have in-store and delivery food options. So like, of course oh, wow. you can get like $7 off your first order. Macy, have you used it at all or not yet? No, I actually haven't used uni days, but when you were showing the um, beginning of the webpage, I saw um, Audible and I thought that was oh. so cool. Like that's such a fun um, like form of entertainment. I struggle reading, um, so I kind of prefer to hear someone else tell it to me. So I think that's really cool. I didn't know we got 33% off. Yeah, an interesting number, but I mean, something's better than nothing. <laughs> True. And I signed up for this when I was a freshman, but I just, I guess I just got too busy or I don't know, it just kind of, I forgot about it, mm -hmm. but I kind of regret not going to this page because I'm looking at all the savings. I think too, they even have, when I said about like entertainment, they have options, like for example, I think like Disney plus or some different streaming services that you can use um, for all you Disney fanatics. Let's see. Oh yeah. Like a monthly subscription. So they have different, um, excuse me, subscription plans that you can use as a student. So, um, but yeah, they even have gift cards too. I saw that you can get um, and apply like for first purchases. So that's good to know. Skincare, all that, yeah. Um, so that's pretty much it. Again, I will post the link um, below here. Um, and Macy, do you wanna take it away with the next two? Yeah, so I'm kind of excited to share um, what I have been using. So let me see if I can find it. Okay. Um, here we go. Can you see my screen? Oh, I think you're on mute. Oh yeah, my bad. <laughs> um, Skillshare. Yes, I can see your screen. Okay, perfect. <laughs> um, so one of my favorite um, platforms to use is this learning one called Skillshare. And so what Skillshare does is it has a bunch of videos that can help you learn literally whatever you want. Um, so as you can tell here, I've been looking at like stress reduction, action plans. Um, I've been involved with like a marketing one, spell crafting. It's really anything that you have always wanted to try out, but maybe didn't, you know, like have someone with like the expertise. So this is a great platform to learn literally whatever your heart desires. Um, 
And I think one of the my favorite things to watch are the watercolor ones too. They're very like aesthetically pleasing and very like soothing. So this is just great if you just want to put something on and just chill. Um, the, another great thing about this is that they offer scholarships for students. And this is where the good stuff comes in. If you are a student and you use your USFCA or your university email, you get 50% off of the premium price. Currently, it's going for about $32, um, so that brings it down to about $16 per month. And if you are a student who could probably not be able to pay the $16, what I love about Skillshare is that they don't leave anyone behind, so they are willing to pay for your whole membership if needed. Um, all you have to do is write how Skillshare will help you in your betterment of self-growth or if you have any business ventures I mean this is a great opportunity to talk about it and they are more than willing to pay for your subscription I love that again it, it definitely seems like um I don't know if you've heard of master class I know that's like when they bring on different celebrities yeah. and talk about different ways to kind of be like them like as a reference group mm -hmm. um but I like how this is more targeted towards students and it seems like again there's something for everyone which yeah. is pretty cool. Yeah, I, I had never heard about it before. Yeah, it's so, so oh, nice. I love it. I love this website. Oh, and they even have an app version too, it looks like, because you can yeah. download it in the App Store or Google Play. Mm -hmm. So if you're like on Muni or any bus or an Uber, you can literally listen to these videos anywhere. Airport, it's accessible through your phone as well. Mm -hmm. So that's the cool thing. Um, and yeah, here are some of the numbers that come with the um the membership it's cheaper if you get it like the whole annual subscription um and it also comes with a couple perks which is something that is completely new to me you can get 20 percent off with um squarespace 50 percent off adobe um these are just great things that come with like the membership so yeah not sponsored just really love it <laughs> Um, and let me see for our next one is the GitHub student developer pack. So this one is actually the one that I use the absolute most, especially being a marketing student. Um, so what you'll end up doing is you'll click here on get your pack and you're going to create an account and you're going to want to use your student email address because that's the only way it's going to um, process this. So what you'll end up having after you know applying for this is you'll get all these like cool resources. Um, the one that I use literally like every single day is Canva Pro. Um, this was like the best deal for me um, and I, yeah I kept 12 months of it so like a whole year of Canva Pro for free um, which is amazing. You get also affordable hosting if you're into you know coding as well as simple cloud hosting i mean these are just things that any developer would need out there um so yeah i think this is really cool i love this so much and highly recommend yeah they even have data camp if you want to understand you know um how to use data better then all these resources are here for you and you a get, lot. yeah, it's a lot. You get this by being a student and that's like the best thing ever. Yeah. And this is absolutely free. You don't pay for anything, maybe for a couple of them, but I'm not quite sure. For example, this one, they'll give you a hundred credit platform for the platform. Um, and then if you use that up, you probably have to pay more. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, what they give you is very generous. Really love it. Nice. Yeah. Well, I think that pretty much sums up the four um, resources, I guess we could say, um, that we wanted to share with you all today. Um, the last part of today's episode, I guess, is just announcements, right? Mm -hmm. For this upcoming week. Yeah. And I actually, I don't know if we can fit in another one. I just thought of one quickly. Um, but I kind of wanted to share this because this actually really helped me while I was um, my junior year. So Ooh. I accidentally ended up spilling oatmeal on my laptop and that was like the worst thing ever like I literally needed a laptop like ASAP um so I went to that Apple store and you know 
what they told me was like that my laptop was like irreparable. Um, I had to get a new one, right? But at that moment, I couldn't really get the one at the Apple store. Um, so I ended up finding this website called Back Market. And I was able to get, like for example here, you're able to get a 2018 refurbished computer for 859 And this is not including the student discount that you get. Um, so I thought that was really cool if you are just looking for, you know, a cheap laptop to just get the work done ASAP and you don't want to spend, you know, full price at the Apple store, then I highly recommend Back Market, especially because they have a student discount that goes on top of like the already reduced oh. price. Like a newer MacBook Pro under a thousand. That's like pretty good. Yeah. I, I I wish I knew about this going into college. <laughs> no, it's amazing. And you can even get like Mint, which is like, you know, it's literally brand new to very good to good. I mean, it just depends what your preference is. So yeah, I had a really great experience and highly recommend it. Yeah, thank you for sharing that, Macy. Gosh, you, you had a, a lot of good options to, to bring up. I, I'm going to be making accounts for all of those right after this. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I literally thought about it like just right now. I was like, what actually helped me the most? And it was that one. I just needed also to to our, our listeners. Um, if you have any recommendations for additional platforms that we didn't talk about or resources, websites, whatever apps, um, please share with us. We'd love to know. And if you'd like to talk about it on a future podcast or just put it in the captions below, um, we'd love to see your feedback and just tips and, and, and hear from you. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Macy, did, was there anything else you wanted to share before we take it away with announcements? No, I think that is all from my end, yeah. I just hope everyone takes advantage of these opportunities really um, because they really helped me a lot as a college student and there are many college students who are working, you know, full time, part time. So if you need to save some money, here are the hacks. Breach. <laughs> so true. Yeah. So yeah, I guess we'll jump into announcements. Um, we have a couple cool things coming up. So the SLE Involvement eFair is now live. Join USF's vibrant student organization community on Zoom to discover involvement opportunities you can be a part of anywhere in the world. All attendees will be shipped a free ASUSF water bottle and be entered in a daily raffle for special prizes. Create a schedule that works for you from February 8th to 11th between 4 to 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Grab a crew member or a crewmate, I mean, or come solo and join CAB for an online scavenger hunt this Thursday, February 11th at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The first team to find the treasure wins and gets an actual gets actual prizes shipped directly to you. Ooh, I like that. And then if you're close to San Francisco and in need of pantry goods, complete the USF Food Pantry request form by Friday, February 12th at 5 p.m. to schedule a pick. Requests filled on a first come, first serve basis until all items are depleted. Love that. Yeah. And I think we're going to end with our quote of the day. So that is something we love to do. We love to leave you all with something to think about, something um, to make you feel good. So for today, we have a quote coming from Walt Disney. He says that all your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. And yeah, we hope all the resources we shared can help you along the way. Thank you all. And this has been Activity Time. Woo.